Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Healthy Fine Dining Series. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today with the Pocono Mountains Visitors Bureau, as well as St. Luke's University Health Network, where we're bringing together doctors and chefs to create healthy new menu options to be featured at their restaurants. And joining me in the kitchen today is Dr. Javier Buriel, along with Chef Carlos Cepeda and Chef Danny Rivera of Garlic Prime Steak and Seafood. Welcome, all of you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being here in the kitchen today. What are we making? Uh, we're making a halibut of the Caribbean. Um, it's going to be a, a halibut on top of a purple mesh Yum. with um, some pineapple salsa just to keep it a little healthy, you know. Um, Sounds fantastic. Lots of Thank flavor you. going on. Let's get started. All right. Okay. He's going to be working with uh, pineapple salsa. Perfect. And I'll be starting with uh, the purple mesh. Okay. Sounds good. So who wants to start talking first? You want to talk about the pineapple salsa? Yeah, we're going to make okay. a pineapple salsa here. Mm -hmm. We're going to use, obviously, pineapple, mm -hmm. red peppers, green peppers, red onion, lemon, cilantro, a little bit of sugar for the balance. Ah, I like that. Sounds great. Well, I'll let you work on that while you tell me a little bit about this purple mash. We're Please. working with the purple mash right now. Um, Get in here, Doc. Yeah. Um, the purple mash, we're going to leave it with its own skin. We like to keep it in its purest form. Get a little extra texture in there yeah. and the vitamins from the yeah. skin. Um, and we chose the purple mash because it's... Um, it's a good source of antioxidants, mm -hmm. and obviously that's a good um, source for um, a, a boost in your immune Lots system. Lots of different nutrients and everything. Yeah. Well, doctors always say you want to eat the rainbow, right? That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what you do for St. Luke's. Well, at St. Luke's, I'm one of the uh, metabolic and bariatric surgeons. Mm -hmm. What we do is sort of what everyone knows is weight loss surgery. Okay. Uh, and so it's more about treating patients' diseases that come along with obesity. So All that's right. sort of our goal of surgery. Who is a, a good candidate for weight loss surgery? The ones that are great candidates are those that are about 100 pounds overweight mm -hmm. is what we generalize it as. But it's mostly by body mass index, which is a ratio of your height to weight. Okay. Uh, and we kind of determine that in our offices or the family medicine offices. And uh, based off of that, we can direct patients the right way. All right, great. And how safe is bariatric surgery? It's actually very safe now. It's it's one of the safest surgeries you can do. Really? Yeah, it's safer than getting your gallbladder out. Some some places it's safer than your appendix. So hmm. uh, it is uh, very very safe at this point in time. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. And do you advise your patients at all on dietary concerns? We do. We actually well, we have a multidisciplinary team. So okay. we have dietitians that are in house that uh, that are able to go over the meal plan for patients, uh, what they should or shouldn't be eating, and, and as well how to direct them after surgery and uh, to live healthier lives. That's great. Yeah. All right, so it looks like you've got the potatoes started boiling. What else did you put in there? I added some shallots, mm. um, garlic. A little extra flavor? Yeah, to just give it a little kick. Nice. Olive oil and um, some salt pepper. Fantastic. So doing its work right there. Great, so lots of flavor going in there and it looks like you've diced up that pineapple nice and thin mm -hmm. into little cubes. All right, great. What next? Um, we're going to be working after all this with um, the halibut. I love so halibut. Gonna, it's 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 a good um, go-to fish. Yeah, you can never fail with the halibut. Right now, Doc, you're from Louisiana, I so am. you have to be a big fan of seafood. Oh, I love seafood. Kind of a, requ a requirement. It is. It is. <laughs> we we get a lot of fresh seafood down there. It's mm -hmm. uh, every year. There's a different seafood, or every season. Uh, there's yeah. something new that comes out, so it's, uh, yeah, I love seafood. And you like to cook as well? I do. Another requirement of living in Louisiana. It you is, have to know how to cook a little it's bit. It's part of growing up there. Yeah, you know? absolutely. <laughs> so we chose, uh, we chose the, the pineapple salsa, um, and we named it Hollywood from the Caribbean because mm -hmm. um, you can't go wrong with pe um, peppers, onions, um, and pineapple which is a good source of um, vitamin C. Mm -hmm. But also we stuck, stuck to our roots, where it, which is- Tell me about Rico. your roots, yeah. Yeah, we come from Puerto Rico. Nice. We got here two years ago, and we are, we're using the American cuisine, mm -hmm. but like making a fusion with um, Caribbean cuisine. I love that. You should never forget There's where you come from. incredible food exactly. in Puerto Rico, and yeah. you're right. Now you yeah. actually did your medical school down in Puerto Rico. I did, I did. I spent some time there. Uh, my wife is from there. I was discussing that with them. And, nice. Uh, yeah, I love Puerto Rico. So you guys are all in good company right yeah. now. Probably have a lot to talk about. We'll return with more from The Chef's Kitchen. We now return to The Chef's Kitchen. We basically want to finish, you know, finish doing the pie. Finish making the salsa? Yeah. Okay. After that, we're going to take the lemon, um, take some, put some lemon juice in it, 
the cilantro, we're going to um, finely chop it. And then the onion, we're going to cut it on Perfect. On a, um, like small dice. Okay, Basically just like he's kind of been doing everything else. Yeah. And like he said, he's going to salt pepper mm -hmm. and sugar to keep the balance. We like to play with a guest palate. Yeah, a little um, bit of acid with the yeah, sweetness. Yeah, acid, really gives sweetness, a nice balance. savory. Um, we also like to put some tart in it. Okay, fantastic. Because that's what the guest comes to get I a good that. experience. And that's what we should do mm -hmm. also. Definitely. Test our palates. I'm going to bring yeah. in Brian Bassett. He's with the Pocono Mountains Visitors Bureau. How are you? Great to Good see, to see you, you again. See Come you on up soon. front here. So tell me what's new in the Poconos, what's happening right now. Tell me everything. Well, right now, winter's starting, so mm -hmm. a lot of our ski areas are opening up. Um, so we're getting ready for some winter fun and the Definitely. holidays. Um, right now, uh, you know, the weather's been great. But they've been able to make a lot of snow. So mm -hmm. skiing's going on, snowboarding, snow tubing. Um, of course, our indoor water parks are getting ready oh, yeah. to have a busy season, and the nice thing about that is they're weather protected, so you can come in and Absolutely. you know do a lot of things. And this time of year, you know, we love the outdoors with the the winter going on. We still have great hiking, and um, the zip lines are still open in some of the areas. Nice. We also have a lot of great indoor attractions like uh, indoor rock climbing. Oh wow! Um, we have a the casino theater, which is a uh, movie theater that's an old school movie theater where you can get dinner and a movie mm -hmm. with your family. That's fun. Um, we have Mount Airy Casino, and then of course our lovely restaurants like Amazing Garlic. Amazing restaurants, and, yes. Uh, I've eaten here many times, it's great food. So um, I can tell the chefs are very talented. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, we've got a lot going on. Um, you know, just visit our website at Pokemons.com and plan your winter getaway. Great. So we're looking forward to seeing everybody. We're gonna get a lot of snow this winter, I hope. I think so. All it's right. going to be cold and snowy. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what we want at the Poconos. That is what we want. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to come back and join us for the tasting Absolutely. in a little bit. All right, yeah. we'll see you then. All right, thanks. thanks, Brian. You bet. All right, so we're still working on the salsa over here. Yes, we're going to put the lemon juice. Perfect. Now, you didn't put anything spicy in here, did you? Did you have a jalapeno or? No. no. Okay. Could you make the spicy if you wanted to? You can to? make it spicy. Yeah. It all depends on what we're looking for. Um, we do use a lot of spice, mm -hmm. but we keep it on a balance sure. because not everybody enjoys spice. Absolutely. But we Again, do like spice. Again, coming from Louisiana, yeah. another spice requirement, yeah. you have to like some spice. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> now tell me about the restaurant. Tell me about garlic. It's a wonderful experience. Like mm -hmm. for us as um, chefs, yeah. um, we've, we've had a good feedback from every guest that we, you know, we serve. Fantastic. And this is the main component of what you see here, like hard work mm -hmm. and dedication, definitely um, teamwork, and we're thankful for all the guests because we've had people coming back again, and that's what we look for. Exactly. I Get mean, if people are coming back time and time again, it means you're definitely doing something right. And that's what we look for, five stars, five star reviews, mm -hmm. and that extra when they come back again, that, that just tells you um, consistency. It's real, exactly. Yeah. You guys yeah. are consistent, and you have a great product, and people know that. That's fantastic. Yep. I love it. Now, Doc, are there some other ways that people can manage their weight other than going to surgery? What are some non-surgical things that can, you can do? There are. There, we have a non-surgical component to our, mm -hmm. uh, to our practice, the medical weight loss side. Um, so what that is, is is for patients that don't qualify or aren't looking for surgery. Mm -hmm. And so we have a multidisciplinary team that can guide them for nutrition, lifestyle changes, um, as well as uh, uh, the weight loss that they would need for that time right. to try and help some of their diseases or some of their ailments, uh, their medical conditions that go along with it. So. Okay, nice. Yeah. And what is it like being part of a network like St. Luke's? It's an incredible network. Uh, it's, you know, this is a culture here that's been created that's uh, very welcoming. It's mm -hmm. great for physicians to be a part of. The way we take care of patients is it's incredible. That's great. Yeah. I love that. All right. So what I was just doing right now, I took with my uh, tongs. Mm -hmm. I pulled out a potato. I used the cake tester. I know it's a cake tester, but we also use, use it, it for, anything. for anything. If you feel a little friction, obviously it's not done yet. Okay. But the way that I did it, it didn't. Gave Went me right any friction. Through. Yeah. Perfect. So that that indicates that it's done. All right. So time to mash the potatoes. Yep. Perfect. Chef. Okay. We're gonna drain the the potatoes first. Mm-hmm. You have any special tricks for making a good mashed potato? Um. When we do this mash, like I said, we like to keep it in its original form. Yeah. And first thing you don't okay. want to do when you do a mash is mix hot potato with cold liquids. Ah, why is that? That activates the starch. Oh, and is that why the potatoes get gummy sometimes? Yeah, and it uh -huh. looks like Play-Doh. That's a so, really good yeah. tip. So always mix hot with hot. Gotcha. And that's why we try to keep 
So you're hot saving liquid. as much of that liquid as yeah. you can when you bring so that it okay. processes like um, not normal. So that can kind of almost replace some of the cream. Yeah. You know, yeah. so you have that liquid in mm -hmm. there too. That's a really great tip. We'll return with more from the Chef's Kitchen. We now return to the Chef's Kitchen. So now you do this right in a food processor. Yeah, cool. that's that's another reason why. Because if you're just mashing it, mm -hmm. then it's normal. You can um, get rid of all the liquid. Okay. But since we're doing it in a Roboku, in a in cuisine art, mm -hmm. that's incorporating a lot of air. Gotcha. So and it's going to make them it, real fluffy yeah. and nice. And that's how that's the reason why we add hot um, liquid to that because since it's incorporating a lot of air, the cold will activate that starchiness, and that's how it turns all gummy. Gotcha. That's really smart. It's gonna have great color. Yeah, I know, I love those purple potatoes. They're so cool. And we like to keep the skin on, because mm -hmm. it has a lot of nutrients Definitely. too. I love the texture that the skin yeah. gets too. Yeah. Look at that, that looks great. You gotta add a little bit of salt and pepper. Very important. Yes. Now you salted the liquid a little bit. You added yeah. some seasoning already, yeah. right? We don't salt water. We don't do salt water. No, we just okay. add a little salt to just get a little bit. To just it starts you know, to yeah. get that little flavor. Well, it's always important to season in layers, right? Yeah. So a little yeah. bit here, and then keep kind of building. On always that. less to more, right. not more, because then you can't take it yeah. out. <laughs> Beautiful. That's yeah, done. Nice. It's such an awesome color. I love that. It's like a little purple cloud. Want to try again? So what are what are some of your specialties when you like to cook? Uh, when I like to cook, we've actually lately I've been doing sous vide uh, in the house. Ah, so. A lot of you doctors are really into the sous vide <laughs> thing. You're not the first one to come on. Oh really? Say that. Well, no. it's uh, it's I think it's just because it's easy. You throw <laughs> yeah, it in, you right. set the temp, and you walk away. Yeah. So now, well, Chef is gonna pass and finish the salsa. Great. By adding some salt, pepper, some sugar. I love the addition of sugar. I think a lot of people don't think to use that yeah, in savory it, dishes. It's like Chef said, it mm -hmm. keeps a balance on the plate. Mm -hmm. Also, um, the sugar enhances the salt. Yeah. And just like in pastry, right. the, the salt enhances the sugar. So right. that's what we try to play I love when that. we do the recipes. And now it looks like you ha you're using like a sugar in the raw or like, yeah, like a sugar. sugar. Does that yeah, make a big difference flavor wise? Or? Yeah. It, it, you feel, you can get that little texture also. A little crunch from, the, from yeah. it? We always put that. A little bit of olive oil. Okay. That'll kind of help balance everything yeah, a little bit as well. Yeah, it gives that vinegary mm -hmm. type of taste yeah. with the citrus, the nice. acid, and the olive oil. And olive oil is so good for you, yeah. too. Yeah. Perfect. That's done. Well, it looks great. So now we're going to pass on to the halibut. Mm -hmm. All right. Sorry. We're going to pan sear it. Okay, And perfect. then we're going to do um, a basting type of um, technique. Mm -hmm. Would you use another type of fish in this recipe if you couldn't get halibut? Maybe the halibut's not looking so fresh one day. What we, would you substitute? We can go with um, Chilean sea bass. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, grouper. And that's not bad either. Um, snapper. Mm -hmm. I love snapper. One of my favorites. Oh, yeah. yeah. And um, those are all good fish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, Doc, do you advise a lot of your patients to eat fish, to eat more seafood? We do. It's mm -hmm. uh, you know it's a healthy protein. So right. It's uh, especially nowadays. It's easy to. To, uh, to consume, it's easy to find. Uh, you can also have frozen fish, but mm -hmm. uh, even some of those are okay options, but the, as fresh as possible like this is For sure. it's a great idea. Yeah. It's better, way much better. So what's the secret here? Are you waiting for the pan to get nice and hot? Yeah. We want the pan hot so that it um, shocks mm -hmm. the, not, not, not too hot, you know, medium high is good. Right, still don't want to burn it. Yeah, <laughs> and so that it doesn't stick to the saute mm. pan. So we can start to Sear the. And you just put a little olive oil in the pan. A little bit of olive oil. Nice. Not too much. So you hear the sizzle, but it's not you know it's not smoking or anything. Yeah. So that's, that's what, what you want. That's what yeah. you're looking for. Right. You want a nice brown flavor mm -hmm. for brown color. Now, do the... you cook this all the way through, or do you like to leave it a little bit underdone in the center? Or? We cook it all the way through, mm -hmm. but that's where the cake taster comes in ah, play. Ah, okay. Um, we don't want it overcooked. Right. We want a nice buttery um, flavor, mm -hmm. um, texture. Yep. Um, we don't want to eat overcooked mm -hmm. um, fish. So the cake tester, what we'll do when we flip it and check if it's already done, we'll just uh, insert it through the middle, mm -hmm. obviously through the fattest part of the steak, the uh, fish, mm -hmm. excuse me. <clears throat> and obviously, like I said, with the purple potatoes, 
if it has a little friction, then it's not done. Right. You just want to feel that just go through, come right back. In. Yeah. Very nice. That's, That's what indicates. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. people just leave it 15, 20 minutes, mm -hmm. and until it's done. Yeah. We want it right. You want yeah. it perfect. Yeah. 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 I think that's one of the, the tougher things for home cooks to yeah. learn how to do is to determine when a piece of fish mm -hmm. is fully cooked. We'll return with more from The Chef's Kitchen. We now return to The Chef's Kitchen. We're gonna, we're gonna flip the Hollywood. It's looking good. You can see how it's turned mm -hmm. brown and opaque around the edges. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that color. Oh, yeah. That's what you want. Beautiful. Yeah. I can already taste that. The texture yeah. and the, the brown the brown flavor looks really good. All right. Now the so chef is going to add the uh, salt, the special salt that he made. Special salt, and now you're going to baste it as well, mm -hmm. right? Baste it as well. Very nice. We have uh, sage. Okay. We like to, sage is good for fish. Mm -hmm. And keep it, like we said, in, on our roots. Um, we have uh, recao. Which is... Is that like cilantro? It's the cilantro. Uh -huh. We call it um, culantro. Culantro. Yeah. yeah it's more... Just take the I, add the U. So that's what this is here. This looks very different from it's what we intensive. know that's as cilantro. Yeah, it's but very intense. It you has can... a really similar flavor. Yeah. And it, it, the only thing is a lot, it could be overwhelming. It is. It's, it's stronger yeah. than cilantro when you taste it, but it's really good. So you put a lot of butter in there, but that's not all going to wind up on the plate, no. right? You're just going to no, no, use no. that for the basting? Yeah. yeah. Tell me about how you do this technique. It's a really great technique, yeah. I think. So you want to keep the um, steak, uh, fish on the edge, mm -hmm. top edge, and incline it a little bit so that you get all the butter, mm. but it's getting all the flavors from the fish. It just looks so good. I mean. <laughs> and then you keep basting, basting, mm -hmm. and basting. So it kind of finishes that. cooking nice and gently too, mm -hmm. so the butter. A little bit of sage. So you're just going to flavor that butter yeah. with some of these herbs. Okay. And a little, a little bit of garlic. We smash it a little bit so that the oh, just a little garlic. oils mm -hmm. of the nice. garlic you know, spreads around. So it's just a, a real mild kind of flavor. Yeah. And you can see the butter starting to brown a little bit yeah. too, mm -hmm. which is which my is good. favorite yeah. thing. <laughs> smells good. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. There's nothing like the smell of brown yeah. butter, especially with that garlic and those herbs in there. I wish you guys could smell it in here. <laughs> People at home, it smells so good. Mmm, that looks fabulous. And halibut is a, is a quick fish. It doesn't take more than 15 minutes, 12 minutes to cook. Okay. Like I said, we don't want it overcooked. Right. So you get that nice sear on the outside and then yeah. it looks like you turn the heat down a bit too. Yeah. So you kind of finish it nice and gently. Great. We are ready. All right, we're ready to plate. I got your plate for you right here, so I'll let you guys work your magic. All right. So we're going to start with the purple match first. Mm -hmm. We like to play around when we plate. That's if fun. We, if we go all in the middle, we like to respect the edges too. Yeah. Give, you know, um, keep it in its original form too. Mm -hmm. If we go in the middle, we stay in the middle. If we use the side, we just stay in the side, leave this whole side empty. Okay. Work with that. People eat with their eyes. Yeah, definitely. And that's what yeah. we want to grab yeah. their attention Work. first. All right. Plate it up. So. Then the holly. Beautiful. Now, are you going to put those both on the same plate or just stick to one? We're yeah, going to stick to one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We'll snack on that other one afterwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, the magic, the salsa. That's what's really going to bring this dish to life. We could add some veggies to it, mm -hmm. but we decided, you know, there's peppers in it. Definitely. Um, there's some veggies in it and already. And the, the blue potatoes, too, you know. Yeah. It's a starch, but there's a lot of nutrients going on in there as well. Still a root vegetable, you know? The whole plate is providing a lot of Absolutely. nutrients and um, It's beautiful. Now, do you have to components. put any, any other garnishes yeah. on top? Or, all right. We use the micros. We, we like to play around with them, too. Make it even prettier. Mm -hmm. That also, it is edible. Mm -hmm. um, it, it gives an extra kick to the look of the plate yeah. and also the taste of the plate. Definitely. I love your little tweezers, too. Keep it nice and... Yeah. 
keep it clean. And Bring a little bit of the doctor in us. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's it. Now, what, are, what kind of um, microgreen is this? That's radish. Radish. Yeah. And the other ones look like pea shoots? Yeah, micro, micro um, pea tendril. Nice. So pretty. So, no. Nope. That's it. This is such a pretty dish. I'm very excited to try it. And you guys all have to join me. <laughs> it's a lot of us today. All right, thank you. All right. Thank you. Cheers. 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 This all looks right. amazing. Let's dig in. Don't be shy, guys. <laughs> Get right in there. Chefs, too. Come on. Help there me out there. Go. There we go. <laughs> mm. Mm. That halibut's cooked perfectly. Mm. It's good. really good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, that was amazing. I love the purple potato puree. You, you really didn't add, did you add any butter to that? Mm -mm. No, it's beautiful. It's so smooth. It's not gummy at all. The salsa really brightens the whole dish up. It's fabulous. That's good. Yeah, mm. The salsa's really good. Very good. Perfect. Brian, the Pocono Mountains. Javier, St. Luke's, chefs, everything was so much fun today. I had a great time with you all. Thank you very Thanks for being with us on the Chef's Kitchen. It was a wonderful experience. I mean, it's new for me but I had fun. My, my first time in TV, but it was amazing. Overall, it was a great opportunity. I'm glad to, to be part of St. Luke's and that uh, St. Luke's allowed me to do this and talk about what we do as a specialty.